Hey, what's up, guys? This is Guy here. Today, we're going to talk about free trials with Fortinet. How can you do to build your lab using Fortinet for free? Because it's possible to use trial licenses or evaluation licenses to build your lab. In my case, I have in front of me this design here. This is a design I've been working on. I'm trying to do some ZTP or zero trust, I mean, zero touch provisioning um, lab on here. And as you can see, I have three 40 gates. I have the first one, which is the hub, hub number one. I have the BR, the branch number one, and the branch number two. So this is requiring me to have three licenses or three 40 gates that are actually running. And there are a few things you need to know. You can have only one free trial license on your 40 cloud or 40 net account. That, that's the first thing. First of all, I've been receiving a lot of emails from people asking me for VM images or things like that or firmwares. I cannot provide you with that. You need to go on Fortinet website. You need to create an account. It's actually very easy to create an account. You go under support.fortinet.com and you click on create new account. Here you can have your own account where you can download VMs, you can download images and whatever you need. So if you do that, you'll be able to download versions 7.4, 7.2, 7.0, and 6.4. For the VM, like in my case, I'm going to do this lab in ESXi. So I need to download ESXi VM images for these three Fortinet or 40 gates here. And then when I have my 40 gate installed in ESXi, I can then install the free trial on my 40 gate. And again, the catch or what you have to remember is that you can only have one free trial for the version 7.2 and 7.4. So what I would recommend, if you want to have more than one 40 gate, like I do have here, you can either have everything built under 7.0. You can use 7.0 everywhere. There is no limitation in the number of 40 gates you have in your topology. Or you can use 7.4 for single 40 gate and then use the other ones. Like I would use the 7.4 7 for the hub and then the branches will be 7.0. Or what you can also do is that you create multiple accounts. That's, that's not recommended, but you have a way to have three accounts, and then you have a trial for um, a 40 gate in each of your accounts, and that's fine as well. You can talk to your account manager at 40 net. They might be able to give you an evaluation license that you can use for two months or even a year if that's possible, depending on uh, your relationship. But yeah, that's something you can do if you are a partner or a customer or you work for a customer of Fortinet. And again, using 7.4, you can only have one. So what happens usually is that you've done it before. You've had 7.4 in your environment, and then that device is listed under your device inventory on your account you can never add a second one. When you're trying to add a second 40 gate to your account for a free trial, it's not going to give you a message. It will just go blank. It won't say anything and you will keep trying and it will not be successful. The thing you can do is go to your account, decommission the old 40 gate that you had on the trial. So now you are able to install a new one. That's something you need to do under your device inventory, and then you will be able to register a new one for a trial. I've made many videos about how to install the 40 gate in ESXi. This one is just about free trials and how you can do it. So for the 7.0 and 6.4, the trial license comes directly with the VMs. You don't have to install anything. As soon as you have your device installed, it's going to be um, directly supported and you can use it. You can access the GUI. If you don't have the trial license for the 7.4, you will not even get to the dashboard because they will ask you to provide a license or to link it to 40 Cloud. That is the first thing, or 40 Cloud or 40 Care. So that's the first thing. Same thing for the 40 Manager. For the 40 Manager, I noticed that you can register as many as you want under trial, but you are limited. You are only limited to have one gigabyte of logs per day. You can also only have three devices or three VDOMs, and you can have only two ADOMs or administrative domains. Those are the limitations for the 40 manager, but you can register as many as you want in your 40 care account. I'm going to leave two links in the description where 
you can read more about the permanent trial mode for the 48 VM. You can also read more about the trial license on the 40 manager. And this goes for any lab that you can do in GNS3 or even G. As long as you got the VM image from the Fortinet website, you will be able to use it without any problem. And if you are studying for the CCNA 200-301, I have a course on kbtrans.com. The course goes from zero to engineer. It will help you start to boost your career in the tech field. The CCNA is one of those certifications that will really boost your career in the tech field, on the networking field, because you're going to learn everything you have to know in detail to be good, to have a good foundation in networking. And if you like what I do here, if I bring you value, make sure you like the video and also share it with your community. I'm also available on Facebook and Instagram. You can see behind the scenes and everything that I'm doing here. So don't forget to follow me there. And again, kbtrainings.com, that's a website where I currently have the CCNA. But in the future, I'm planning to have way more trainings and courses on Fortinet stuff, um, Cisco, and even more. That will be coming on kbtrainings.com. Make sure you subscribe. You are also enrolled to my newsletter so you get all the news in the tech field. I'm going to make another video showing you how I'm going to build this uh, topology here. Again, I'm going to use it for my uh, zero trust, I mean zero touch provisioning and uh, SD1 lab. We can do that lab together sometime in the future. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my future videos. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.